Hey there guys, the Boulder Boulder here, and today I'm going to be showing you another bioformer from Dr. Scorpion X, and this is Dragonic Surge, an alternate combination of Surge and Dragon Bolt. <laughs> this is another really cool one, uh, maybe even a little bit cooler than the other one in some ways. Uh, so, first I'll show you what he looks like in Dragon Mode, and then Surge Mode in a little bit. So, here is a look at the Dragon Mode. <laughs> Again, I really like the design of the legs. Really sweet. I like that... Uh, uh, design of legs using the like the triple jointed ones really cool this uh, um, <laughs> and it's just really nice um, really captures that dragon look and uh, so I'll I'll start off uh, from the the legs here a look at the very bottom part of the legs um, it's a little uh, odd with this part just sticking up like that. That sort of bothers me. The feet uh, don't have a whole lot of articulation in the ankle, so it's kind of hard to get some poses. But uh, it's it's bearable. It's it's okay. <laughs> I can work with it for the most part. And then these spikes look pretty cool. And uh, got these nice friction adder parts up here, which are. Uh, fairly necessary for the size of this character. Uh, like nice silver upper leg pieces. Uh, here's a look at the torso. Uh, pretty cool design, you know. Overall, uh, uh, these little exposed ball joints are sort of thrown off a little bit, but they're not all too noticeable or. Not too bothersome, it's just, uh, they're just there. <laughs> uh, here's a look at the arms. Not too bad. They're, I don't know, they seem a little short, in my opinion. But, uh, if you don't really think about that, it's not too bad. <laughs> but like I said, I really do like this. Um, I'm just going over a couple of the cons, but... Now let's go over some really good pros. Uh, overall, great design. Uh, got plenty of little, uh, uh, well, uh, lots of detail. Plenty, plenty of little uh, special connection points. I really like what happened in here. Um, the hands. I'll have to show you that later. Whenever it's in surge mode. Another uh, pro. Really nice design of the wings, too. Uh, very uh, unique and really cool. And uh, now here's a look at the head. Very creative. Um, you can see the still has yellow eyes. <laughs> Even from looking at this point. There you go. See? That looks pretty sweet. Even has horns, too. <laughs> And the third one right here in the middle. That's really cool. Uh, I, another reason why I really like this uh, mode, the dragon mode. And uh, of course, the mouth does open and close like on Dragon Bolt. And I really like the mold for this headpiece for Dragon Bolt. Really sweet. And a really good idea. <laughs> on Lego's part to use that foot as the bottom part of the jaw. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. And uh, see the the wings are actually connected right down here near the neck, but if you move them back like this, uh, that's not so bad. Not that big of a deal. So look at the back. Uh, not not so bad. Not too much 
armor or anything back here, but again, not so bad. Uh, there, there are reasons behind all of that stuff. Legs, not so bad from the back, since these sort of cover up. And the tail is really cool. <laughs> it's got the... It's, it's really long. Uh, he could probably use it in battle if he, if he wanted to, to just swing around real quick and slice. And uh, maybe even smack his opponents with the, uh, well, the broadsword in uh, Surge's mode. That's a look at the tail. Pretty sweet. So... It's time to take a look at the Surge mode. Yeah. So now I will we'll show you that. Alright, and here's Dragonic Surge in Hero mode. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> 360 real quick. Yeah. If you want to see uh, other uh, poses and uh, pictures and stuff of this guy, you can check that out up on Facebook. I've got a link in the description to my Facebook and blog spot pages. And so, this is pretty cool. <laughs> um, though he is a little bit uh, top heavy in this version. <laughs> so, good, good usage of those uh, extra friction adder pieces and uh, here's a look at the body let's see let's try to show you something um, the reason why the back looked so exposed uh, or it appeared that way is that you got these blue pieces right here that hook right into those parts right like so and then it just connects right there like that, which is a really, <laughs> really cool, I'd have to say. A creative way to do that. Yeah. So you got that dragon head is still back there, and facing down. <laughs> this, this, this reminds me of the Transformers and the Dino um, theme, <laughs> or. Uh, or, or just uh, any of those jungle animal themed transformers. It, it just really reminds me of that, which is pretty cool. I am impressed. And a really cool design of the sword as well. I really like that. Um, and then he can actually hold it with both of his hands as well two handled broadsword. Let's move on down back to the legs. Uh, and they're a more humanoid shape uh, with these off to the sides. Again, still reminds me of the like old Transformers. Uh, here's the body. Really nice. I like they got those uh, clamps on there still. And then those uh, translucent cones on there. Pretty cool. Uh, those were the flick fire missiles, believe it or not. Um, here's the arms. A really creative way of connecting the uh, wrist slash lower arm part. Uh, I'll take that off real quick. Remove the sword. Uh, here, I'll show you how that's put together. So, this is how it's connected. The hand on here, like this. Yeah this piece right in here that's really cool and then you just put it through like so and then that's how you do it it keeps the hand for or the wrist from moving around very much at all and it also has another little feature uh, show you that in just a second let's move on to the torso real quick and then I'll show you what that is Yeah, really bulky right up here. I, I like that a lot. Pretty sweet. And then the these 
uh, dragon claws right on here and the arms really add to the bulkiness of the arms as well really cool look in the side you got these blades coming off on the sides nice design uh, yeah so then I've also got these uh, electricity parts coming up here these spikes sticking up right here the horns are moved down uh, spike over here so yeah overall very nice now here is what you can do with this uh, sword you can actually take the blades out like this and you've got yourselves twin katanas that's the other feature I was talking about like I was saying a very creative uh, assembly for the wrists slash lower arm <laughs> so he can definitely use that for hand-to-hand -hand combat or close range that's pretty cool <laughs> I really like that a lot again just showing you the creativity people can use with Lego can put him in a co all kinds of poses <laughs> let's put him into one so uh, that is about it I right, thank you guys very much for watching and subscribing and hitting that like button all that great stuff and I'll see you guys again in my next video have a great day Bye.